What is good everybody? Welcome back to another Money Up Toys video. Today we are back with some brand new WWE Elite action figure reviews and today we have a great one, man. We have WWE Elite Series 101. Honestly insane to say that. One series past Elite 100 and it's it's a great celebration because we have my boy KO and we got my boy Cody in here. Two guys that I got to witness live just yesterday at time of recording at the Royal Rumble 2023. We have the main eventer in Kevin Owens who went one-on-one -on -one with Roman Reigns and we have the Royal Rumble 2023 winner and Cody Rhodes, which was insane, man. I, I have plenty of videos documenting what happened. You know, I'm going to upload them to my Instagram, YouTube, probably some shorts. Lots of great content, man. It was an unbelievable experience, and I'll get into all of that in those videos. I don't want to touch on it too much, but I figured it was relevant. We have KO and Cody, who, I mean, couldn't timed it any better from this weekend. And this is, of course, representing them from last year. But nonetheless, man, if you guys are interested in these figures, I think you can pre-order them over at Ringside Collectibles. I think they're on back order. I'm not entirely sure, but go over there, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but today it is time for a brand new review, and I'm so excited for it because we have two of my favorite guys in WWE. So here we have KO. It is in his feud with Stone Cold Steve Austin, of course, from last year. I did make a custom of this, which we will compare, of course, but he does have an interchangeable head sculpt in here. Beautiful image right there, man. I mean, he has proven every time. You guys know I've always been a big KO fan. I've always said he's like top five in the world, and he proves it each and every time he steps foot in the ring here, but there's Austin KO. KO right there. Stone Cold, Kevin Owens. We got the bio read here. Rest of the figures in the wave, which we're of course going to review this week. And you know, the standard packaging here. And then here is Cody Rhodes making his return to the WWE Elite line. So cool how guys go in and out of the line. But here is Cody here. And you guys will notice here on the bottom, it does say the America Nightmare instead of the American Nightmare. So I don't know how that took place, but it's obviously a typo. So there'll probably be a running change or something like that. But there it is, the America Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. I wonder why they don't put nicknames for everybody or, like, everybody's nickname or, you know, like, you know, the wrestling gimmick or their persona or whatever the hell. But there's a shot of Cody there. So cool to have an updated Cody, man. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to get many, many figures. Ultimates, Elites, Basics, they're all coming. It says the America on this side as well. But let's crack these guys out, man. I cannot wait to get this guy out. Compare it to his AEW figures. Compare it to the AEW Supreme Cody because this is actually the exact same gear that we got in the Supreme Series 1 from AEW and Jazzwares, man. So let's settle the debate today, dive into the differences, dive into both these figures, break them all down, and dive into Elite Series 101, Kevin Owens and Cody Rhodes. So here's the America Nightmare and the Prize Fighter out of the packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing so far, man. Just a, a beautiful figure indeed. Like the Cody, for one, just looks magnificent. I shared it to Instagram immediately when it was revealed. I love it. You know, it's not perfect by any means. We're going to, of course, get into those details. But right off the bat, man, I'm having a ton of fun with it. And while it's on my mind, I know I didn't mention it at the beginning of the video. And, of course, we're going to get into this as we get into the week. And I'll show you guys footage from this past weekend of the Royal Rumble. I'm sure a lot of you guys saw me on on TV maybe or on Peacock Network or in background images or people's videos and things like that. But to everybody that came up to me this weekend at the Royal Rumble at WrestleCon, just different places around the area, man. Thank you guys so very much for your kind words. All the pictures I took. If you guys took a picture with me and you have it on your phone, send it to me on Instagram or something because I didn't get any of them on my phone so I do apologize for that. But you guys were incredible. It truly touched my heart and I look forward to meeting more of you, man. Just such a truly unforgettable and amazing experience this weekend. I appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys, and I really, really appreciate it. But with those things being said, man, let's take a dive look into Elite Series 101 KO and Cody by diving into KO's accessories in KO, and then we'll take a closer look at the uh, the America Nightmare. So getting into Kevin Owens' accessories, man, you get a little bit of greatness. You get some interchangeable head sculpts. You get some cloth goods. I think those are fantastic items. I think, you know, that, that should be the bare minimum for these figures that we get. But we do get the beautiful, iconic, probably one of the most iconic t-shirts of all time in wrestling history. We have the Austin 316 shirt. Haven't seen this from Mattel in a while. We have seen it before though, but uh, probably not this scale. I'd say this is probably bigger than your average one. We did get it with the Ultimate Edition Austin, except this does not have the graphic on the back, so that's kind of bummy, but you could put this on an Austin. You know, if you don't want the KO, you want the KO in the shirt, you could put your Austin figure in this. I think that's pretty cool. I think that was a great way to, you know, spice this figure up as well. Get the Austin 316 shirt and throw it on an Austin Elite. I think that's pretty great, so we do get that. You get two interchangeable head sculpts. You have 
this first one, which when we first saw the promo pics, dude, I was not a fan of this head skull, man. I don't know what it was, but it I guess it was the lighting maybe or something that was throwing it off, but it looked so derpy to me, and it's not great, you know? I don't love the likeness to it, but it does look a lot better in person than it looked, but he's like looking up, and he's kind of got like, like, I don't know, it kind of looks like a, a Kevin Owens head sculpt that he's like, yeah, are you done talking? That's kind of what this head sculpt reminds me of, and I don't know, the eyes are, I like the beard thickness, I like the hair, I just, I don't know, it's not my favorite Kevin Owens head sculpt, I think the Elite 90 is better, but it's not bad, and I can say I like it a lot more than I did when I saw the promo picture, so that's an upgrade. And then we have this version, which is the bald cap version, which people are probably gonna say, oh, look at that little piece right there on the forehead, it looks dumb, but it's accurate, man, like, you could see the, uh, the bald cap prosthetic makeup that was on there that night, so you get some of this wrinklage in the back, which is accurate, you get the, uh, stuff on the front here. I like this head sculpt a lot more. I honestly want to get another one of these and then like trim that down or send this to BEW and have him sculpt some spiked hair because I like the screaming expression KO. I just wish, you know, that it had some hair on there because this is a damn good Kevin Owens head sculpt. Like, this is great. The likeness is perfect. It's just, you know, it's for that moment specifically and that looks awesome. It's just, God, man. Great looking head sculpt. I think they nailed it perfectly. Great likeness. This is a better head sculpt than the other. It's just got the bald cap on there, which does fit the moment, but there's your two head sculpts. These, these eyes are just painted better, you know what I mean? These are just kind of, I don't know, they just don't have the detail, but those are great. Outside of that, you do get interchangeable hands. You have the fisted hands, and these are on black hand tape instead of white hand tape, so we finally have double-jointed arm black tape Kevin Owen arms, and he has the updated tattoos right there, as you guys can see on the hand. I don't believe those tattoos were there last time. And then, like the fist, they are the painted the same, so you have the tattoo on there, and then you do have the mic-holding or object-holding black hand tape hands. All right, man, so getting into Kevin Owens, man, the head sculpt. I I just, this interchangeable one or the main Kevin Owens one, I'm just not sold on it. Again, when we first saw it, it looked worse, but I think it does look better here. But see this angle right here? His left, my right eye right here, it just looks a bit lazy. And I think his Elite 90 just captured his, his look better. I just feel like this one looks a bit derpy. I love the beard sculpt. I like the hair sculpt. I like all that. But at the end of the day, it's just not my favorite. It's not one that I'm just going to chalk up and go buy 10 of to put on all my Kevins. You know what I mean? So that's just, at the end of the day, that's where it is. I think somebody could repaint the eyes not me for god's sakes somebody more talented than me can come in here and make this thing look way better but going down into the shirt we do have the ko mania six shirt that's kind of unbelievable he's wrestled at, at six manias this will be seven this year probably going to capture the tag titles maybe who knows but i like the shirt i think it looks really really good got austin on there got ko it represents stunner versus stunner and then on the back you do have the owens 316 says mine is better than yours very dope very cool you know talking about the stunner versus stunner he's got all his tattoo work here he's got the dinosaur and he's got the other dinosaur. He's got his evil live tattoo. Even included the new hand tat, which is great, which we just covered. He's got all of his stuff over here, man. It's kind of unbelievable. It's like he started getting one tattoo and then he just had full sleeves all of a sudden, man. Kevin Owens, one of my favorite wrestlers in the world, man. Never doubt it. But he still wears the gray and black fight shorts. Nothing too crazy going on here. And then it's just your regular Kevin Owens. Black boots, black knee pads, black sliding or, or socks underneath. Yeah, I mean, you're kind of just basically looking at a repaint KO with a new head sculpt or a couple new heads. Now, taking a look at this Kevin Owens, man, the articulation's good. I've really struggled with my shoulders here. You know, it's doing that thing where the shoulders don't go up. Okay, I finally got this one. This one on this side has really given me trouble. Like, I'm still kind of struggling with this one, and it's it's really bothering me, and it's really messing up my biceps right here, and I really don't want to break. Okay, there it goes. I think I broke it free finally, hopefully, for the love of God. You see that gapage right there, man? That makes me sick. Hopefully, that'll fix itself, or maybe I'll have to run get another one, but KO figures pose around better than you'd think, you know. One of these boots is kind of loose, but he's got the double jointed arms, bicep swivel, all the good stuff. He moves around great. Ab crunch is non-existent, but you, you know, it comes to expect it. Usually what I like to do with my KOs is cut the rubber shirt off and then put a custom shirt on there, but it's not always completely necessary. But here's my fix-up Elite 90 over here. We got the nice fix-up in there, but I mean, this head sculpt's probably better because it's a little wider, you know? Kind of showcases the weight a little bit more, but I think the likeness is better over here, and I just, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it but here's the two up next to each other i don't know i just ah, these eyes look better to me man but seeing them up next to each other i can see where you'd be on board with this one 
I just don't know. I think the eyes look better over here, but I think the wideness is better over here. If this one had better painted eyes, it would be damn good. And it's not like it's bad. It, like, the lightness is totally there. It's just, you know, it's, it's, what do you like? You guys also noticed this one had white hand tape. This one has black hand tape. So now we have double jointed black tape arms for our Kevin Owens elites. And then for your Stone Cold Kevin Owens figure comparisons, here is my custom Stone Cold Kevin Owens action figure that I threw together last year. Made a whole video about it. If you want to see how this was made, go check out that video on the channel. I'm sure you can easily find it. Just look up how to make a Stone Cold KO or how to make a Kevin Owens. It should pop up. But we do need to get this guy in his correct gear. And here that is. And I guess it's cool because I could always pop this one over here as well. Have like a straight faced KO and uh, then have like the yelling one. But it's cool to see all three of these up next to each other. I think the custom worked for sure. I, I think the custom did the job. But yeah, this one's probably better. You know, the prosthetics and stuff like that. And then there's the ultimate shirt versus, you know, the Velcro shirt. But I, I had to put these up next to each other. Also, I mean, this isn't completely accurate, right? It doesn't have the blue jorts. It doesn't have, you know, no hand tape with all his tattoos exposed. And I get why they did that. I like the two-in-one. It doesn't hurt my feelings. I think if you, you care bad enough, you could easily make a custom, but that does it for your Kevin Owens action figure elite comparisons. Now, getting into Cody Rhodes accessories, man, starting out first, we do have this inaccurate weight belt. Now, I don't know why Mattel continues to do this. They don't put the god dang loop or the belt buckle on these weight belts, and he's wearing it on the back of the packaging. You can literally see the buckle on there, so it just looks like this when it's clasped together. Graphic looks great, you know? It's got Nightmare on there. It's got the, um, you know, the Cody Rhodes logo on there. The white color looks great, but it's supposed to have a buckle on there. They do this to Hulk Hogan. They do this to all the people that have it. I love the stitching detail. That looks great, but we need the buckle on there, man. It's going to be a glorious day when they give us that buckle, bro. Like, the internet's going to explode when that happens, but I like the weight belt. I just wish it was more accurate, but let's compare it to the Jazzwares. So here's the Jazzwares belt, and I honestly, you know, I don't know. Uh, if you could morph these together, I think they'd be perfect. You know what I mean? I think if you could morph these two things together, I like the, the, the wideness of this and the accuracy of this weight belt, but if you were to morph these together, Give us the strap and the buckle right there. I don't know why Mattel doesn't just make it like that. Make it just like that. Because then look, it has all the accuracies. When you clash this together, it looks like the bell went through the loop and tightened. I don't know. I don't know why they do that, but yeah, there's your difference. The Mattel one seems to be way larger. It's longer and it's definitely thicker. It's like, uh, it's not quite twice the thickness, but you can see what I'm talking about. Outside of that, you do have the white taped right hand and then the blank left hand, and then uh, it does have a skin tone peg. Should be white, but you know. You also have fisted hands here, which are beautiful. Same exact as the mic holding. No white peg. And then he comes with entrance hands or throne sitting hands or prayer clasping style hands or throne sitting hands. You get the point. But same thing, right hand has white tape on the palm and then the left has blank tape. So no tape at all. All right, guys, so getting into Cody Rhodes, man, I think that a lot of people's issues are with this figure, of course, are gonna be with the weight belt, first of all. Secondly, it's gonna be the head sculpt and it's going to be this right here. Here, man I mean what are we doing right here man I have been around the moon around this since the figure images came out you know and I've addressed it I've talked about it not quite at nauseum but we're probably coming up on it but this is the last time I'll probably address it maybe I don't know I could bring it up a couple more times maybe four or five however the tattoo placement you know why is it like this what could they have done differently and I think the way to go would have been just leaving the face completely blank right the jawline and the neck Neck right here leave that completely blank even if this this location is completely spot on i think lowering it just a hair and then pushing it to the right just a hair like down and to the right just a little just barely you could have gotten away with accuracy and placement and aesthetic because when you do this man when he looks over here why the hell has he got this on his face you know what i mean so i mean it's easy fix right we're gonna come in here we're gonna acetone that off on action figure surgery just because like, it just bothers me, you know, if he's looking over here, he's looking over here, the tattoo's there. You know, figure photography, I guess it won't be that big, but, you know, when you look up, like, there's a gap there. Like, I don't know, man, just not a good design choice there. And if this was a statue, since this head articulates, that's what ruins it. If it were a statue and this would be the look and, you know, it wouldn't even matter because this would be all flush, but just my opinion there, you know, I, I think that Jazzwares did it right. You know, don't put anything on the face of the head sculpt and let the, you know, the, the tattoo placement be where it is and if 
the head sculpt covers it just a hair, it's not going to be the end of the world, you know what I mean? So, I still think the neck tattoo placement could, go, again, just a hair. I'm talking about, like, barely down and barely to the right, and it would have been money, but, you know, at the end of the day, not the biggest deal, but it is kind of shaking my head. But also, this head sculpt's not the best likeness, you know? I like the hair sculpt. I think it's the eyes. I think the eyes really throw it off. I think the sculpt is fine. It really reminds me of the Jazz Wears when we're going to get into the comparisons, of course, but I like the hair sculpt. I like the hair color. I love Cody so much, so this is really awesome. I love the formula. I also put the Jazz Wears weight belt on here just so you guys could see it just for a, a moment. This is the Jazz Wears AEW belt, and while it's not probably completely accurate either, it does give you a different look, and it has the belt buckle in there, so that was just a shot of that. You know, I'll give you a quick shot of it right here before we get into the rest of the figure. This is what it looks like with the Jazz Wears belt on there. I think it looks pretty bad, A, eh? so maybe that's just something to do, but getting back into the torso, he does have his dream tattoo, which is very, very clean. That looks amazing. First time Mattel's done that. He's got the little chest hair on there. Double jointed arms, which look good. I love the formula. Fantastic formula. I think that all this looks great. No back tattoos or anything. I love these pants or this attire. You know, it's very American. Reminds me a lot of like George Washington or just America in general, but all the logos going around, all the great deco on here. Same Cody Rhodes formula we've seen, but with update, uh, updated arms, obviously. He's got the knee texture design in there, and then he does have his his like Drew McIntyre style boots, you know, with his American Nightmare logo on there. And both of these look really good, man. This is that Heath Slater mold or that Drew McIntyre style mold. Not the Drew McIntyre, I think it's the Heath Slater mold, but really old sculpt, but I think it gets the job done. I don't have I don't hate it. I think it looks great. Now, as far as movement, man, this figure poses around with the best of them. I mean, he's got real buttery smooth, all his joints are tight, he's got ball joints, I mean upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, boot rotation, ankle pivot. Really fun. I think uh any any figure collector is going to have a ton of fun with this. I can't wait for the Ultimate Edition, which would probably be the true test, right? Because, you know, this isn't the price point of a Supreme AEW Jazzwares, but you guys know we got to get into it, right? Especially since it's the same gear. And now while the boots are different, you could easily put, you know, different boots on here, but uh, this is the equivalent of an Ultimate Cody, but, you know, you got to get into the comparisons, right? I mean, you guys can see here the differences. This one's probably a hair darker, not as saturated, maybe a bit more, uh, I, I don't know. You, you know, you got the sculpted stuff in here for the tights over here. But they, they're definitely... The, look, the logo here is bigger. This one's smaller. You know, tattoo placement and ab crunch and stuff like that. Like, look at these head sculpts, bro. They're practically the exact same head sculpt. But again, I think Jazzwares did it right right there. Look at that right there. The neck tattoo placement. Neck tattoo placement. You know, I, I think obviously the uh, Mattel looks much more realistic. But these figures are so similar, man. They're very, very similar. But I enjoy them in their own way. You know, obviously Elite does not have butterfly joints or anything, but it definitely feels tighter, I'd say, you know? Like, I think that the uh, the Supreme tends to get a little bit loose over here, but they're both great figures, and they pose around really well. It's just so cool to see these up next to each other, man. Like, holy crap. And it's like, I don't know, it's like giving two artists the same exact photo and saying, hey, create this or recreate this, and having them both up next to each other is really outstanding. Like, I'm having a ton of fun with it. And both of them are great in their own ways. Looks like the AEW figure. Uh, they're virtually the exact same high, man. Damn, this is fun. This is what we love, bro. We love a good competition. I think both of them have great things going for them. You know, gun to my head, pick one. Woo, I don't know. Again, it's not really fair to say, bro. Because, you you know, you're dealing with a different price point. You're dealing with, like, different things here. But I do want to bring in uh, a couple more Cody's. Because I'd like to see if you could put some different head sculpts on these guys. Like, here's the Unrivaled 4 Cody. We have the Ringside Exclusive Cody over here. So, let's, let's bring this over here here and stick this in there. I'm just having too much fun with this, man. I do want to see if you could pop this head sculpt off, because I think the, the screaming expression right here is one of his best head sculpts, and that smiling one from the other, and let's just see if you could like pop this on here. It's probably going to require a little bit of work. Alright, so that one doesn't go on there. Don't force that. I almost snapped that peg. I don't want that for you. You know what I mean? So don't do not do that. Don't even attempt it, Brad. Uh, With some modding, you could probably make it happen, but I'm kind of scared. I don't want to break this Cody, man. I just got it, and if I break it, I'm going to be upset. But if you could, let's say you Hollow, hollow out an extra head. I want to say I have one that's like super hollowed out for some reason. Hold up just a second here. Alright, so this head sculpt was defective. I got it from Jazzwares like that. It's the smiley head sculpt.
sculpt and look how big the the you know the peg hole is for some reason and look at that right there it's like it was made for it baby woo look at that dude that's pretty crazy damn again this was a mistake by jazzwares that this head sculpt came like bigger you guys see what i'm talking about like look this is a regular peg hole and then this one's like defective or something and it came like this but it fits the mattel head and it makes it go all the way down and look at those skin tones man you got a little something special going on there young man they look pretty damn good i like that so there you go if you like that maybe that's something you want to do but again you can't just pop it straight on there you may break the peg so be careful with that but you know there there's you some options but that looks freaking sick dude but i think the ultimate edition is probably going to be our true test but i'm really loving the mattel bro i'm really really loving the mattel the um, the elite i think the elite just feels more compact i don't feel like it's like loosey-goosey i don't feel like it's gonna you know what i mean it doesn't have the ab crunch that the supreme has it doesn't have the butterfly joints that can reach around but what good's a butterfly joint if it's super loose i don't know the mattel elite may clear brad it may be on top right now but i think that pretty much wraps up this two-in-one wwe elite series 101 cody rhodes and kevin owens review man had a ton of fun man it's kind of wild just because the lineup of this wave having ko and cody here just got back from the rumble i i know i explained it a little bit in the video but i think that's just so wild how that timing worked out i think it was awesome for mattel because his ultimate edition is coming soon they have this figure i'm sure there's more cody's in the works i mean he even came out and said it himself in the presser for the royal rumble i'm pretty sure so there are tons of cody's coming and i think this one's a damn good one man holy crap i think you know if you want the supreme i think the supreme has great things about it if you like the elite you like the elite and you heard all my thoughts on that in the previous segment but i think they're both damn good i i i told this to steve the other day who works at mattel you guys know steve action figure attack on instagram i was talking about i was talking to him the other day i mean mattel is to a point now where i mean they are just nailing it man they're on top of their game and they are throwing haymaker after haymaker in the action figure community in the wrestling figure community especially i mean i'd say they're on top of the game man they are just consistently on top consistently on top of their game premium top tier quality in their products they're not perfect nobody is nobody bats a thousand as they like to say out there brad but i love both these figures i think they're great you know when we first saw the kevin owens head sculpt man i thought it was kind of derpy but it looks way better in person i think uh you know i i, I don't know man i love the two-in-one aspect of it i like the black tape double jointed arms that we're getting here I do love the gear. It's kind of a specific gear, though. You know, KO Austin. It's like a... It's a commemorative edition, pretty much, of that exact matchup and that memory. I still think I like the Elite 90 a little bit more. Like, if you have no tie to that match or having the bald cap... KO or you know things like that I think the Elite 90 is the way to go the you know the stun Owen stun and he's got the blue and the yellow and the white tape and a better head sculpt but maybe you like the KO Austin maybe you want that version of him then go with that but I'm just giving my honest opinion and then the Cody Rhodes figure man a true beast you know the weight belt is its own thing the head sculpt's not perfect I hate that they continued the tattoo right there I think lowering it slightly and not putting anything on that jaw right there would have been the way to go because it's all about aesthetic and when you you know when you we covered it already but just a quick recap when you turn the head of course the tattoo is not going to be fully flush it's going to look a bit odd because you're going to have this like statue of liberty style stuff going down on his jawline and then you're going to have the full tattoo there and it's going to look very odd so you know it's just an aesthetic design choice that i think they missed the mark on but at the end of the day i still really like the figure you could put other head sculpts on there it's not the end of the world and we're going to get more cody's but this one's damn good and it's his first one since he returned it's an amazing figure and i really enjoy it and i can't wait to see where we rank this when we rank Elite Series 101. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Again, Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Really cool announcements coming soon that I can't wait to showcase you guys for a couple projects been working on behind the scenes. But nonetheless, man, I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Been uploading on TikTok this week. Go over there and follow me at MyDamnToys, just like the IG. I'm getting out of here. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you guys next time. You'll never